beautiful child in the world. Come fly with me this day. Come take another step into paradise, into my glory, my heart of love for you, for my creation, my children in the world, my planet. Come. Trust me, my child, this day. Trust me with your spirit. I will not let you go. I will not let you stumble or fall. I wish to show you my heavenly realms. You will be caught up in spirit and truth. You will be caught up in glory. My child, you are seated in heavenly places. You and your sister in Christ will remain in spirit and truth with me until the end of this prophecy of a thousand days in heaven, a journey I have chosen you and your sister in Christ to complete for me. You are worthy, my child. You have sacrificed your whole self unto me. You have laid down your life. You have given unto me your all. You have no hidden agenda. Your only desire is to serve me, to complete my will for you upon the earth. You set your eyes towards heaven daily, my child. You stand before me in prayer, in worship, in love, in devotion. Therefore I can use you this day, your willing vessel, to speak forth my words unto the nations. I have so much to show you, my child, beloved one. Such an exciting adventure lies ahead for you both. Every day you will go deeper and deeper into my kingdom. Come, my child, reach out your hand and place it in mine, and together we will fly. My Lord, I see you in spirit and in truth. Holy Father, Heavenly King, my Lord, my love, my eternal life, I embrace these words, I embrace this journey with all that I am. There is nothing more beautiful to my soul than seeing your face, to reaching out my hand and placing it in yours, to going with you into the eternal realms so that I can report all that I see for the nations. For your honour, praise and glory, we bow before you this day, loving you with all of our heart, mind, soul and strength. You are worthy to receive all of our praise. I dedicate my whole life to you, to recording these words, to worshipping you in spirit and in truth. There is nothing more satisfying to my soul than being with you each day, Lord. Seeing new things, experiencing new things in your heavenly realm. Your love floods my soul at this time, your glory, your peace, your rest. I feel caught up into paradise. What is it you are seeing at this time, my child? Explain for the world all that you are seeing at this time. I feel like I'm dressed in a wedding gown, the most beautiful gown I've ever seen. I feel like I'm in a chapel. And I look down to the aisle and I see my Lord, my Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. He is waiting for me. He is my bridegroom, the one I love. Oh, how I've longed to give my whole life to him to be his bride. I see myself walking down this aisle towards him. He is smiling. He is beautiful. 
He loves me. He cannot take his eyes off me. And I feel special, I feel loved, adored, cherished. I stand by his side and we turn towards each other. He takes my hands in his and we look into each other's eyes and we cannot stop smiling. I feel completely in love, filled with his love. I know that he loves me unconditionally, that he is mine and I am his. And I know that every person on the earth who gives their life to him will have a day such as this. A day where they feel loved by our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ unconditionally. When they come before him as the bride, when they meet their bridegroom. Beautiful child, today the Father will cleave us together spirit unto spirit bride and bridegroom oh how I have longed for this day the day when I can join with you as one the union between man and God a union of love you have given your whole self unto me my child you have been forgiven of all your sins you are my precious bride part of my family and today we become one united in spirit and in truth my child I gaze into my Lord and Saviour's eyes holding his hand never do I wish to separate from him I wish to stay here forever, for I feel like I have him all to myself. He is mine and I am his. I breathe in the glory, his glory, his peace. In spirit and truth. He is not in a physical body. He is in his glorified body. And therefore, in spirit, I can feel him within me, on the earth and in heaven. I can feel every part of him, his glory, his peace. He consumes me with his love. Precious child on the earth, this is your Father in heaven speaking to you now. Today is a most significant day for you the bride and the bridegroom coming together as one. Today you become one in my sight. Today I unite you in the heavenly realms. Today you are husband and wife. This is something which will happen to every child upon the earth. Every child who gives their life to the Lord, every child who bows their knee before him will be cleaved unto him, will become one with him, united in spirit and truth. He will fulfill your soul. You have been chosen, ordained for such a time as this. Today you become husband and wife in my sight. Not in an earthly form, not in an earthly way, but as the precious bride and bridegroom of heaven. I see the Lord placing a ring on my finger, a ring that unifies us unites us, his ring, and I see myself putting a ring on his finger, I smile, knowing how precious this time is, how special, 
how eternally significant this moment is with my Lord. God, my child, today you are mine. I have separated you unto me. We are one. Look to the world no longer. I am a jealous God and I desire your heart, the full attention of your heart, mind and soul. I want all of you. I promise to lead and guide and protect you. I teach you to be a loyal husband. Every person who returns unto me will feel such as this because I unite with every single person in my creation. So that you are complete, filled with my spirit, walking with your God night and day. I feel so light and free. So I broken down in spirit. My children, today you are wed in my sight. You become one. In spirit and truth, you are one. He envelops me. It's like he is one with me. It's like we are one, but two, two but one. I do not feel like I'm in a physical body. I feel like I am broken down in spirit, but he is one with me. I feel like I am part of the universe, but he is strong within me, completing me. Blessed child, can you hear me? This is your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ, your husband. Lord, on the earth, I nearly fall. I take it my face. Overcoming glory, slain in spirit. It's hard for me to speak in this place because the glory is so strong. He is so strong. I see his eyes gazing deep into my soul, yet I feel him in my soul. He is part of me. It's almost as if he is wrapped around me. I am part of his body, the body of Christ. For the first time in my life, I feel part of him. He is in me, and I am in him. And I am free, eternally free. Beautiful child, we are one. We can never be separated again, but you must separate from the world at this time. I want all of you. I want you to deliver these words to the world so every person knows what is to come, that one day they will be wed with me. They will be reunited with me. Just as you held hands with me today, so I long to hold hands with every single person as the bride and bridegroom before the Father. It does not matter if the person is male or female. For you are in spirit when you stand before me. You simply are. You may feel female or male, but in spirit you just exist, you are. So when you stand with me as male or female, you stand with me in love. A pure love, the love of heaven. And this moment is just as significant for the male as the female. For I complete you both. I fill you with my strength and love and peace.
pride kara simply means every male and female on the earth who believes in me who receives me as their lord and savior during their life upon the earth who has been forgiven of all their sins and washed in my holy blood any person who gives their life to me who loves me with their whole heart and soul will one day be key be mine we will be united and we will dance the eternal dance of the ages alera forever kashi kena hora and you will feel like i am akrahashika with you always and i will be kona hora 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 for we are one united blessed by the father Hori and I feel so strong in you Lord. You hold me together. I can no hora hashi I do kurasi your body kahashi your glorified body but I feel like I'm a part of you in you held by you. I walk with you now my child. Haleri hana hara because you have had this experience of heaven I also can walk with you on the earth such as this. You will feel me wrapped around you. You will glow with the glow of heaven. You will release peace everywhere you go. You will be different on the earth my child because you carry this anointing in your soul. Everyone on the earth needs to wait until they return unto me. I am showing you this so that man, woman and child know what is to come. The wedding day of the soul. The wedding day with your Christ. The union between man and God that is to come. But you have been joined this day. have been broken down to your purest form and you are one with me and you will carry this glory this anointing with you all the days of your karala life on the earth and into the eternal realm where you will spend eternal life with me oh lord hallelujah and i do not know that if i could i can move on the earth for the glory is so strong Your presence around me is so tangible. Do not fear my child, I will help you. But you will always be aware of my presence now. Kindo do not get caught up with the world any longer. Kindo na horo 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 hashikiti ya hashikiti ya stay with me. Dance with me. Now that you are kara united with me kia how we can go in deeper further than you have ever been before because I surround you as a cloud I protect you by my spirit Allah hu rahi shikin hara hai ana hai lor hor hor ya na ya I feel like singing lord worshiping you and had a hash of care no hor I do not wish to move I do not wish to be anywhere else but here with you for I have your full attention there is no pressure to do anything no pressure from the earth I just am a little boy I don't feel male or female I just am kare ho ki ana shikiti ki aki aki No hora hora ya na ya your spirit does not know male or female my child either could be here and your spirit is kia eternal Little bo hora hoshi ikia it's your physical body that feels male or female but your spirit within is pure Kino hora like a child kinda hori ya de hira haleri everyone's spirit yashiki is pure 
Male or female is not important. You simply exist. The person within every body does not recognize male or female, it simply is. Yes, Lord, I understand. All I know is that I love you eternally. I love you with every fiber of my being. I love you. I see myself now in my wedding gown, Kalahara standing before the Lord, Kinahai's hands in mine. Kamahashiki, remember this moment, my child, this vision. You are beautiful in my sight. I see us leaving this vision now. And we are in the universe in our purest form. It is almost as if we are like a ball of light. The most beautiful color, Shikita Orohara dancing, and I see balls of light everywhere, twirling. Korova, what is this, my lord? Lady Hok, this is the human spirit, Hianahai, in its purest form. The balls of light are like dark pink, purple, beautiful colors and they move in freedom but every ball of light Hashiki knows who they are they are still very much aware my child you exist, even after the body dies. Your spirit is real. It is what is within you. It is what is thinking now. It is who you are. But it is not a physical body. This dies. This dies. I see the balls of light suddenly form into spiritual bodies so I see the people it is like a vision of who they were on the earth I can see who they were what they looked like yet they are pure and free they are happy I see them forming before my eyes in their new spiritual body, their heavenly body, but it looks like they were on the earth. We can recognize people. I will recognize family members, what they look like. And then, all of a sudden, they go back into their purest form, like into this beautiful ball of light. My children, this is how my angels travel on the earth. In balls of light, you do not get to see them. They are invisible to the human eye, but still they exist. They can be in balls of light, but they can also appear in their glorified shikiti body their angelic body, their body of heaven. Allah, you can be anywhere in a thought, my children. In a single thought, you can be there. There are times when you will all be in your spiritual body, worshipping before my throne, and you will see each other. You will see the angels. You will see the people from the earth. You will hear the song of heaven. This is how you travel in my heavenly realm. You can travel in a thought. 
Beautiful thought, but you can also exist on the earth in a, in a more tangible form. And you will see each other there. In an instant, you can come into the heavenly realm and worship in spirit and truth. You can be with me. You can be so free. Oh Lord, but here in the being in the spirit cross, you got a spiritual body is so beautiful. There are no restrictions. There is no worry or concern, no fear or anxiety. No need for striving or working. No hatred or sin or addiction or despair or temptation. We simply are, we exist. We are very much aware, just as I am on the earth, of my consciousness. There is total consciousness in the heavenly realm. Who we are does not die. Just the physical body goes back to the dust of the earth. But who we are, who we truly are, rises. I live a walkie and I and becomes one with God, one with the universe. We don't stop thinking, we don't stop knowing who we are. I feel like I'm moving with the wind, and I know God, my Lord is with me continuously. I am part of Him now, as He is part of me. We must travel deeper this day. As a ball of light, we will move through the universe to a glorious place in my kingdom. Oh Lord, I know where we are going. For I have seen this place before. When you took us into heaven, Hale, you took me here. This is our special place place where we spend time one on one where no one else Karahash, can come. This is my place in heaven, my special place. It's like a, ca a cabin or a home in the hills. There's a flowing river. There is a veranda all the way round. There are birds singing. The fragrance in the air is beautiful. It's like the scent of a thousand flowers. Oh, it warms my soul. It's so beautiful. I see you, Lord. You are in your body, your glorified body. And so am I. In my glorified body, I feel like I'm female. As I look like I did on the earth. But as a ball of light, I'm, I do not feel female or male. I just am. I see my Lord, he reaches out his hand, I place my hand in his. We sit on the porch. We look at the view, we smile. I feel like it is the first day of my eternal life in heaven. I feel like I have just come home. I am with him and he is with me. It is like we are the only two people in the whole of existence. Precious child, this is our sacred place, a place where we can be together. 
one on one, alone. There are a million things to do in the heavenly realm, but this is just for us. This is our place, the place you can come to. Any time, my child, any time, and I'll be here with you. I will speak with you. We can relax. We can breathe deeply. Enjoy all that is around you. Lord, this is the most beautiful place I have ever seen. There are so many different kinds of flowers and colors. I see butterflies. I see little animals all around. I even see a log fire inside. My favorite thing. This is our sacred place, my child. And you can stay here as long as you desire. Oh Lord, please don't send me back to the earth. Can I stay here with you forever? In spirit and truth, my child, you are with me here forever. But you do need to go back to the earth. You have many things to attend to. Your body has not perished. You are simply seeing a vision of all that is to come so that you can report it to the world, so that you can draw all men who hear these words to me, so that you can prove unto the world my reality. This word will testify to the souls of many, because in Krahaka, within you, the spirit knows, the spirit knows its eternal home. The spirit identifies with all which you are speaking. And every spirit within knows and understands and will awaken with this word. For every person has a precious place in my kingdom such as this. Every soul gets to have their one-on-one time with me. The bride and bridegroom. And every soul has a place waiting for them where they can spend unlimited time with me alone to be with their God, their betrothed, the bride and bridegroom. But there will be times when you wish to be with the multitudes, my child, when you wish to worship in heaven. When you wish to spend time with your family and friends, when you wish to explore my kingdom. But just like on the earth, when you needed to spend time with me alone, one on one time, I was always there. I always came to your side. You danced with me so many times on the earth, my child. You saw me. In spirit and truth, I was there. And I will continue to be there for you, eternally, my child. I feel a cool wind blowing through Karaha, this beautiful place. The Lord's hand is in mine, it's so warm, so gentle. The love that we have is pure, untainted. I snuggle into his embrace like a child, a child with their God, their creator. Never have I felt so safe, so loved, so accepted so free. My child, this is our special place. And I have shown it to you at the beginning of this journey. 
because many times you will now wish to retreat here, to come to this place in worship, in prayer. You can come any time, my child. Just lift your eyes towards heaven. Just think upon this place and you will be there. In spirit and truth, you are not leaving. Remember, my child, you are with me always. You must learn to live now in heaven and on earth. You must learn that you are existing in two worlds at this time. This is very unusual, my child, but we are anointing you for such a time as this. Because we need this prophecy to be released unto the nations. We need heaven to be released on earth. The atmosphere of heaven is pouring through these words. The atmosphere on the earth is changing. Spirits are awakening. The spirit within. The eternal spirit that knows me. That needs to be born again. Awaken to my love. The spirit is crying out to every human being to return unto their God, to accept me as their Lord and Saviour, to confess and repent of their sins, to follow my ways. Oh my child, her little body in here, I love every single child on the earth and I want all to return unto me this day. I desire every single person to come to their spiritual home, the place ordained for every child who believes in me, who loves me, who accepts me as their Lord, their God, their creator, lover of their soul, the bridegroom of heaven, the lamb who was slain, the lion of Judah. I want for none to perish, my child, and that is why we are reaching out to the world at this time. Many will laugh and mock and doubt you. Do not worry, do not fear. Kanaharahara, it is only their mind, their rational mind, their physical mind. Kanaharahara, it does not understand. But their eternal spirit does understand and these words will resonate with them. There is nothing in heaven that makes any sense to the rational mind on earth, the physical mind, like a worldly understanding. Heaven is beyond your comprehension, my children, but your spirit knows. You must be born again, you must be spiritually awakened, and these words will make sense to you, my children. Your eyes will be opened. You will remember. Konaharaha, you will see your own spiritual home. Come to me tonight, dear children of the earth, and I will reveal a vision to you of your spiritual home, the place awaiting you upon your return to me. I will awaken you to see all that is to come, to walk through the meadows of heaven, to see yourself as my heavenly bride. Come this day, my child from the earth. Lady Otoro, open your spiritual eyes to see. Give unto me your whole life. Bow your knee. Invite my Holy Spirit to come dwell within you. And you will be awakened to journeys such as this. You will see and experience the journeys as this child of mine delivers them. You will be caught up in spirit and truth with her. And I will show you your spiritual home. You will experience the balls of light. What it feels like to be broken down into a million particles. To move as the wind to simply be free, to connect with your God in a place of pure abandonment, total freedom to be one with the universe, one with me 
I'm calling out to you this day to come to me, to follow my ways, and you will rest with me in paradise at life's end. And every experience recorded in the days to come will be yours. You will fly freely into paradise. You will be welcomed home. You will be united with me. I will enfold around you in spirit and truth all the days of your life. I will complete you and fill you with my holy presence. Come to me this day, my child. Place everything into my hands and everything that I'm about to show the Karahashikiri. This child of mine will be yours at life's end. This I promise unto you now. My child, Anahashi must return unto your physical form now. Oh my Lord, I do not wish to leave you. I need to please don't make me go. I lady, I want to stay here and watch the butterflies and the river and hold your hand forever. He smiles at me and I smile at him. And Lord, I do not mind if I stay here forever. Can you please can I just hold your hand forever? My child, we have many journeys to go on. And in spirit and truth you can see me. Even at the end of this word, we can still be together such as this. Remember I am not sending you back spiritually. But you must go back and how you must get on with your day. But inside, your spirit is with me. It never has to return. I know this is hard to understand. But when you finish this word, I promise you will still be holding my hand in heaven. You will still be looking into my eyes. Can you see me so clearly now, my child? Yes, my Lord, I can see you so clearly. My hands on the earth feel warm because you are holding me in heaven. Can you see my kara spirit enfolding you on the earth? Can you feel my love within? Can you feel my peace and rest? Yes, my Lord, I feel like I'm in my body, but I feel like your body enfolds me, like I'm walking in your body body of Christ. My child, you have the mind of Christ. Here you are part of my body. And I walk with you. I surround you and I feel you. Now can you see me in heaven? Yes, Lord. I can see you. Then let us stay here for the rest of the day. You must return to the earth in the physical, but in spirit we will stay here for the rest of the day and into a life of eternity, an eternal life with me. Lord, I'm so happy I cannot stop smiling. I do actually not think I'll be able to stop smiling on the earth. What will people think when I am so consumed in your glory and your peace and your radiance and your love? I cannot take the smile off my face, my Lord. My child, you will be the happiest person on earth because you are existing with me in paradise. And it is here you will stay so that many souls are saved through this journey, many eyes opened to the glory and wonder of heaven, of paradise. Thank you for all you are doing in my name. Thank you for coming, for saying yes to this journey. I am with you this day, my child. Now and forever. Amen.